here are some paintings by Henry Rousseau. Look at the wildlife and the beautiful plants and the surprise elements and the action that's involved. The suspense, the mystery that leaves you guessing at what's going to happen next. All right, enjoy and enjoy the story with Minnie Stoll. Henry Rousseau wants to be an artist. No one has ever told him he was talented. He's a toll collector. At a toll booth, Henry Rousseau lived in the city of Paris, where he learned to appreciate art. He wasn't sure if he'd be a good artist, but he buys some canvases and paints and brushes and starts painting anyway. Henry wasn't sure to where to start his art career. He didn't even know how to draw or paint. Henry couldn't afford art lessons. He is his own teacher. He looked at art and learned from the art. And that's how he learned to draw. He looked at all kinds of things. Henry reads about a big art exhibition. He wheels his canvases to the building in a hand corner. He can hardly wait to hear what the experts will see. Whoa, look at the big wigs. Here's my art, guys. But they don't say nice things. They say mean things. They say it looks like he closed his eyes and painted with his feet. If you want to good laugh, one of them writes, Go see the paintings by Henry Rousseau. <laughs> Henry Rousseau read this and was very discouraged. He did not like what they were writing. He didn't, write what, he didn't like what they said about his paintings, but Henry kept painting and learning. Henry would dream about jungles and far off places with wild animals. He loved nature. He holds his paintbrush to the canvas. A tiger crawls out. Whoa, look at this tiger. It's coming right out of the jungle. He paints a still desert night. He sees a gypsy sleeping. A lion creeps up, but does no harm. He's sleeping like I do. <laughs> because of his poverty, Henry will never travel to a real jungle. It doesn't matter, he sees one before him in his artwork. He uses his imagination and he sees the animals in a jungle. Near the end of his life, Henry makes a remarkable painting called The Dream. Where someone is sleeping in the jungle all these animals and these wonderful plants. He just plays it at an exhibition and anxiously awaits the reviews. A famous poet writes, I don't think anyone will laugh this year. Henry re rejoiced. He was so excited about the reviews that people finally enjoyed his artwork. They celebrated and had a big party. It was pretty awesome. A story of an unsung genius, of unfettered creativity, of undaunted perseverance. Henry Russo, the Tiger Rider. <laughs> wow, what a cool artist Henry Russo is. That was a fun story. I like that. You know, this is the story of one of the most gifted, self-taught artists in history. 
Mmm. Oh, I'm in the jungle. Wow. Check it out. <laughs> I'm in the jungle. I heard there's a tiger. Wait a minute. Tiger. Ah. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, I don't like tigers. They're scary, yeah. Well, I wonder what else is in this jungle. Oh, watch out. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, guys. Uh, just me, Minnie Stoat. Don't be scary, okay? Uh, you're little fuzzy little animals. Where are you? <laughs> I wonder where they are, guys. Where's all the animals? Come on, Henry Rousseau, where are your animals? I know you love the animals. Where are they? Oh, I think I see them. Yeah, here we go. Whoa, did you guys see all those monkeys? Whoa, there's lots of monkeys. I like monkeys. They're funny. <laughs> wow. Let's see if we can see some other animals. Yeah. Oh, where are they? <laughs> Here they come. Let's see. I think I see. I think I see something over there, guys. All right, let's look through these bushes. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, which way? Um, this way? All right, let's go that way. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, here they come. I think they're right through these bushes. Here we go. All right, here, guys. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, Tiger? Whoa, man. I hope he doesn't have me for lunch. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, phew. You should get monkeys. I got the monkeys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh here we are in the car. Yeah, sure, with the moon rising. Is that a lion appearing? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, but he's leaving it alone. Oh, good. You should meet Henry Rousseau. He was a customs officer. Boring. In Paris, in France. But whenever he could get a few hours off, he taught himself how to paint. And when he was painting, Rousseau could imagine he was anywhere in the world. And in 1891, his imagination took him here, to the middle of a huge storm in a wild, tropical jungle, with a tiger holding its breath, ready to pounce. He called this painting Surprise. <laughs> Daydreaming of a beach and an ice cream. Not a jungle. Not furious wind and pouring rain. Not lightning shooting through the sky. Oh, I'm definitely not a hungry tiger hunting for dinner. Hunting for me. Hang on. Rousseau never went to the jungle. He never got further than Paris. He was just using his imagination. And he's got a good one. A lot of this jungle would have come from Rousseau's visits to the botanical gardens down the road from where he worked. They had loads of plants there. And Rousseau would paint the ones he liked best and put them in his pictures. That's why you're more likely to find some of these plants in your house than in a tropical jungle. 
And to be honest, the only tiger Russo would have seen was either in the city zoo or stuffed. And maybe that's why. Although this painting is scary and exciting, it also feels like a dream storm in a dream jungle. Because that's what it is, a dream. It's not supposed to look completely real. It was dreamt up by a man sat in an office, putting the pieces together in his mind. The leaves are painted with precise, smooth strokes, with layer on layer of different greens. If you could dream up perfect leaves, they might look like this. And then there's the silver paint running diagonally all the way across the canvas that makes the rain seem magical and mysterious, like we're looking through eyes that are half asleep. And when you're dreaming, you can break the rules of real life, can't you? Look at this tiger. He could never really be floating above the plants like this. And it's because Rousseau keeps breaking these rules that the painting feels like a dream. Art critics at the time thought this style of Rousseau's was too... simple. He didn't care. He trusted himself. He gave up his office job and he kept painting the way he wanted to. Soon, lots of other artists were inspired by his work. And so, who is the tiger about to surprise? Who's about to become dinner? A delicious antelope? A tasty wildebeest? A group of art critics? Just as long as it's not me. In fact, Russo leaves the answer up to us. He had such a big imagination. And he wanted us to use ours too. Okay, class, today we're going to be making a jungle project that looks up like this, but it doesn't have to have a tiger. Alright, I'm going to draw with the Sharpie uh, so you can see it, so let's take a look. So, uh, first I'm going to start by drawing some plants in the foreground. The foreground is the thing that's closest to you. Now, you want to draw different shapes and different types of plants. Sometimes they're ovalish, and sometimes they're ovals with points on it, or curvy lines. You can draw a line down the middle to where the plant splits. If you want to draw some of the top and the bottom. You can make vines like I am here with little leaves on it. Just a curvy line with little leaves. And then you can make some angled different kind of textures. See how I made a bumpy line around it? That's like a fern. Uh, you can make different leaves. Uh, you can even do flowers if you wanted to. Um, you can make different kinds of branches. I remember like the Y branch that I've taught you guys how to do it. See, there's a flower. Um, just drawing different variety. You want to have lots of color. Um, we're going to draw different sizes and shapes to show there. Now I'm going to draw an animal. Now I'm just drawing a shape for a tiger. I drew a circle. Um, you can pause it right here. We can pause the video so you can look at it. And then see it's just a round shape. The eyes, nose, mouth, and some little stripes for a tiger. You can make some uh, his tail sticking up if you want, so he's like peeking up. Um, guys, we're just drawing this out of our imagination, so it doesn't have to lurk a certain way. Now we're going to color. And you can use crayons or markers, depending on what you want. So go ahead and color it, make it look amazing. I'm going to color it here with some orange and just keep coloring it the tiger and then I'll color in the plants. Don't use just one shade of green, use a variety and uh, use different shades like green, dark green and move those colors around. Use yellow and orange, they don't have to be realistic colors. Um, so there it goes. Now, do I have mine done? No, because I still have some empty spaces in between. You can color that green or a different color because it is a jungle, right? Now you can put grass, you can put mountains in the background. But you also could put Scott. All right, great work. Have fun.